This is my Cooper lighting, 70 watt high pressure sodium area light. Has a 12 inch or 10 inch, sorry about that, 10 inch reflector. Has a 70 watt high pressure sodium bulb in there, obviously because it takes 70 watt high pressure sodium. This bulb is original to a fixture. Here's the mounting bracket. And then I just have this wired up to a regular cord right here. It's got thins right there for the heat. Now when I found this, I found this in the barn right out here in a small junk pile. Junk pile has been there for many years and I never knew that this lot was in there. So I went through it a couple days ago and I found this lot. And it's gashed right there because there's tons of stuff sitting on it. But here it is. And I'm going to go ahead and power it up for you all. It has a very quiet ballast. You can barely hear it humming when it's plugged in. But I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Let's see. It looks brand new. That's because I did clean this reflector or refractor or whatever it's called with the hose, garden hose. And the bulb was already in there when I found it. It's got a whole bunch of information right there. But here it is. It's the back of it. I stuck it in here so a photo cell is not around light so it won't shut off. It's fairly quiet. You can hear it buzz a little bit if you get your head or ear next to this. But it's up. People usually mount on poles and barns and garages so can't hear the buzzing. A very good quality fixture. And that was my Cooper lighting 70 watt high pressure sodium area light. Thank you so much for watching.